as you probably saw the other day, I got posted on Nice Kicks. I don't know how it happened. Like, nobody reached out to me or anything like that. The video got a good amount of views. I'm assuming they just saw it on TikTok and, and thought it was cool for the page and they posted it. Here's the post. As I'm making this video, it has over 100,000 uh, views and like 700-ish comments or something like that. Um, I don't know how it ended up on the page. I kind of have always had a feeling like this particular series could get reposted on like Complex Sneakers, Nice Kick, something like that. But I'm still, in my opinion, not that good on camera. So I'm like, oh, it's a cool series, but you know, they're not gonna post it because I don't like my voice, whatever. Uh, I just figured something like that would keep them from ever posting it. And then uh, I opened Instagram the other night and uh, it worked. I had like 35 new followers when I opened it, which is not, that's not like a crazy amount if I'm doing a snapshot out, but I wasn't doing a snapshot out that day. I'm like, uh, maybe my Instagram reels got pushed on the For You page. I, I don't know what's up. Closed Instagram, checked back like, I don't know, half hour, hour later, and I had like 40 new followers. So I'm like, this is weird. And then right as I was on there, somebody had tagged me in a comment and I saw the video got posted and I saw that people were going crazy in the comment section on the Nice Kicks post. People had already been going crazy on the comment section on the original video, which is why I actually made the PSA like, you know, this is just jokes, this isn't personal, yada yada. Like I'm just, I'm just kidding with these videos. People on Nice Kicks and honestly, the people on my TikTok did not get that memo all kinds of comments ranging from i mean some people agreed with me i would say that's a minority um a lot of people that were like you know this is stupid he's wrong the other thing is nice kicks they posted the caption is he speaking facts or not which i know is just like that's just what sneaker pages do um and i commented and said like i wasn't even trying to speak facts it's just my opinion um but i did appreciate the repost i thank them for that on my story and in the comment section um it was, it was cool. It was cool that it happened. There were a couple of different kinds of comments that I saw. One of them, the, the people that agreed with me, I appreciate that. I also appreciate all you guys that went from Snapchat and like tagged me in the comments, said something, um, said stuff to the effect of like, hey, he's a good guy. Like you don't have to go for his head like that. Um, that was really nice. Everybody that did that. Because admittedly in the video, it, well, I'll put it this way. If there was a video of me that was going to get pushed out to a whole new audience that like doesn't know anything about me, anything about what I do, I wouldn't have picked that one because I agree that I didn't sound like the nicest guy and I do my best to present myself that way. Even like even when I'm making fun of shoes or even when I'm saying something like that on Snapchat, I try to be as respectful as possible while making jokes, making being funny trying to be funny that kind of thing At the end of the day it's shoes it's subjective it's and somebody has put some work into putting that thing out i'm not trying to tear anybody down or anything like that call anybody out in a negative way uh i'm just putting my opinion out there this was and that's what these videos were but people took it very very personally it seemed people on the internet are going to say what they're going to say that's okay but there was one type of comment that i took particular issue with um because it's just something that I took issue with it more on principle than anything. It was the people that are like, oh, this guy's broke, or oh, if you can't afford these, it was the not for resales, if you can't afford a $2,000 sneaker, you're just broke, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be into sneakers. And I don't like that sentiment at all, especially from people that are into sneakers and, and are supposed to be like welcoming and enthusiastic about a hobby. I don't like it when people it almost like, income shame people in the comments because it's something it's a it's a hobby that anybody from like i don't know 10 years old a little younger maybe to 80 90 can be a part of um and not everybody has had the opportunity to make the money necessary to spend a lot on on shoes that they want i mean i was in the same situation for a long time looking you spend time looking at shoes on the internet before you can ever afford to buy them that's just the nature of, of how this goes. Even on Snapchat, um, on Instagram and everything like that, I've had it as a policy for the last year, year and a half for myself that I just don't make fun. Like, I don't make fun of shoes from Walmart. I don't make fun of shoes from Skechers, pay, or Skechers anything like that. Because um, I wore Payless growing up. I had, I've had i talked about how I had, like, Airwalks and stuff like that. Um, and just, just how $100 for a shoe growing up was crazy to me. And now, any more, like Jordan 1s, you get them for, for 170 it feels like a deal. Um, it's just crazy the way prices are going. And so I don't make fun of people that can't afford. I don't make fun of shoes that don't cost a lot because, objectively, 
even though it's like our hobby, it's like what we're into, objectively, it's ridiculous what some of these shoes cost. Um, and so when you leave a comment like, you know, you're broke, oh, if you wear, wear X, Y, and Z kind of shoe, you're broke, or if you can't afford to buy X, Y, and Z shoe, you're broke, that just excludes people. What kind of crap is that, that you have to be, you have to have a certain kind of wealth to be into something? That's, that's disrespectful, that's insane to me, and that's not ever something that I want to be a part of. That's not a message that I want to push because I don't think that you should be excluded from being into sneakers just because you can't afford to get them right now. I mean, it's the same thing with, with cars. Everybody that's into cars can't afford to get a Ferrari. Why are you going to make fun of somebody because they can't afford to get a Ferrari? Or in this case, why are you going to make fun of someone because they don't want to drop, in my case, three times rent on a pair of shoes? Um, I don't think it's right, and I think it's something that just gets tossed around a lot in the world of sneakers, especially on Instagram. Um, and it's just it's something I don't want to be part of. It's something that I don't think is positive. Um, and so when as I was reading those comments, I'm like, I gotta, I should say something on this. I didn't respond. I didn't respond to a whole lot of comments in the, on the actual Nice Kicks post, um, but just like talking with people and, and that kind of thing. That's just a message that I always try and push. When I make these like shoes that look like other shoes videos where I'm just like making fun of expensive shoes or whatever, I'm not making fun of the shoes themselves or I'm not making fun of the people that buy them. I'm making fun of the fact that a shoe, and we'll say the not for resales, uh, that's basically a GR Jordan that's going for over $2,000. I'm kind of making fun of, of where reselling has gotten on that front. And it's something that everybody's a part of. The saying, like, if you can't beat them, join them. That's how I got into reselling in the first place because, I mean, it's not going to stop just because I don't resell some shoes. But if I can make some money and I can then afford to buy shoes that I actually enjoy, it, it is what it is. I think it's a net positive. Um, some people disagree on that, and that's that's okay. Um, but that's how that's where these videos are coming from. Yeah, I'm gonna keep making them. I'm gonna do my best to. S I'm gonna do my best to toe the line between being like negative. Po like I want to seem positive. I want to seem nice. I want everybody to know that I'm not going for them personally. Um, but I still want to make them fun. I still want to make them a good watch. And so yeah, look out for more shoes that look like other shoes in the first place. We'll see if they get reposted again. Um, and really, I would just talk to... If if everybody in that comment section would DM me and, like, get my thoughts and, like, I could have a discussion, I would have a dialogue with every single person in that comment section um, and just say what I just said right now and just let them know where I'm coming from, where that video came from. Um, I know that's not realistic. Um, and people on the internet are going to say what they're going to say. That's okay. Um, but... I appreciate you guys that are, especially you guys that are watching this video that rock with Snapchat, rock with Instagram, have have known where I come from, probably without even me having to say it right now. Um, and that means a lot to me. So yeah, look out. I'm going to try to make a YouTube video once a week. So look out for that. And uh, as always, thanks guys.